Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. Welcome to a really, really a sensational Cricket Happening show today. And the reason that I say that it, this is a sensational Cricket Happening show is because there were something, two things which happened and this was uh, something which was really breathtaking. And well, first let me talk about the world record that was set in the Indian Premier League today for the highest opening partnership uh, which was uh, done today by the Kolkata Knight Riders. The Kolkata Knight Riders and Gujarat Lions were playing a match today, the third match of the Indian Premier League and the Gujarat Lions 183 for 4 of their 20 overs and Kolkata Knight Riders set a world record today as far as T20 cricket is concerned as they chased out the 183 runs required for victory without losing a wicket and this was the highest T20 uh, total successfully chased and also the highest IPL opening partnership as 184 runs were added by the captain Gautam Gambhir who made 76 not out of 48 deliveries 12 fours and but Chris Lynn was the man who was the hero. He absolutely pummeled the, the Gujarat Lions bowlers into an absolute submission as he slammed an unbeaten 93 runs of just 41 deliveries with eight sixes, uh, eight glorious sixes one could say and some big sixes at that and long sixes and six boundaries. And Kolkata Knight Riders uh, won the match by 10 wickets, thus setting a world record in T20 cricket uh, as far as the opening partnership was concerned. I mean, uh, as far as successful chases, this is the first, the highest T20 total uh, successfully chased with all the 10 wickets in hand, 184 runs. And Kolkata Knight Riders have started their Indian Premier League 2017 mission with a real bang here. And Chris Lynn was the one who really provided the big thrust that was needed. And so that is a record which is this record day. Now the next match which I would like to talk about. Now Pakistan and West Indies were playing in their first one day international of the series. And Pakistan had got 308 for 5 and one probably would have not given West Indies a chance uh, because of the reason that they, they didn't do well in the T20s and one probably would have not given a chance but let me tell you this uh, there was an absolute explosion uh, at the end of the innings with Jason Mohammed really going after the balling of, uh, of uh, Mohammed Amir Hassan Ali and Wahab Riyaz to really pace them to all corners of the field as he uh, as he really took together an unbeaten 91 of just 58 deliveries, 11 fours and three sixes. He was given tremendous company by Ashley Nurse, who also slammed the ballers for a quick fire and beaten 34 of just 15 deliveries with five fours and one six. I mean, at the 35 over mark, uh, when Carter departed 228 for five, was still a long way to grow for them. Uh, to actually clinch 71 runs were required in the next nine overs but probably one would have not really given a chance to the West Indies but West Indies staged the, their most successful chase ever in ODI history as they chased the target of 308 um, by winning by four wickets to really stun the Pakistanis here I would say the Providence ground to take a 1-0 nil lead in the three match series. A tremendous batting display I thought from Jason Mohammed, who suddenly exploded into action when, uh, the, when they were requiring, I think when Holder departed, the score was 259. So Holder definitely would have been the hope that was in the 45th over. And with five overs to go, uh, the, I mean, it was 44.3 to be precise. So with 4.3, I mean, they, they, I mean, they have rattled runs. That was the time, as I said, Jason Mohammed and Ashley Nurse really exploded. And especially Jason Mohammed going uh, hammer and tongs at the balling of uh, 
Muhammad Amir, Hassan Ali, and Wahab Riyaz as um, uh, Jason Muhammad. I mean, look at this. Uh, the score was 259 for six when Jason Holder, the captain, departed. Uh, it was 44.3 overs to be precise, uh, and they were still, uh, I mean, 50 overs a game. And, and, and um, in fact, they did it with one over to spare. Absolutely great hitting, I thought. And uh, it was uh, basically they required 27 balls. In 27 balls, they put up a Jason Mohammed and Ashley Nurse put up a partnership of 50 runs to steal the match away from the Pakistanis to really stun them there. And that is the reason I said this is a sensational cricket happening show. Now, I've already talked about the sensational. Uh, happenings that happened now let's get on to brass tacks here and we are talking about first the Indian Premier League which really set a new record as far as opening partnership was concerned in the IPL I mean as I said the highest T20 total which was successfully chased uh, that is uh, the the so far uh, the the only team that has done it it happened in the Big Bash League but uh, that record has been broken uh, and it has now the record stands in the name of Kolkata Knight Riders in T20 history. So let's uh, have a look at what happened. So Gujarat Lions were the ones who batted first here at the Rajkot Cricket Ground. Kolkata Knight Riders uh, captain Gautam Gambhir winning the toss and uh, electing to field. And it was the Gujarat Lions who came down to bat first. The Gujarat Lions started off with Jason Roy and Brendan McCallum, Jason Roy carved a, a three boundaries in his knock uh, and uh, Brendan McCallum uh, was also looking good as they reeled together 22 for the first wicket before Chavla picked up the wicket of Jason Roy for 14 of 12 deliveries with three fours and then Kuldi Piada got the better of Brendan McCallum when Brendan McCallum after hitting 35, 24 balls, four fours and two sixes departed and then it was left to Suresh Raina to pilot the innings and Suresh Raina definitely made a good start to the IPL getting his maiden 50 and he got support Aaron Finch got a bit of 15 of 8 balls 2 sixes but Dinesh Karthik uh, proved to be an able alley uh, for Suresh Raina to guide the Gujarat Lions who were really struggling at one point of time but only because of the partnership that happened uh, between uh, uh, Suresh Ryan on order of 68 of 51 balls with 7 fours and Dinesh Karthik um, really opening towards the end as he slammed 47 of just 24 there with 6 fours and 2 sixes and the Gujarat Lions reached a respectable 183 for 4 of their 20 overs. They were really struggling but they, I thought they really recovered. The bowling, Trent bowled 4 overs 1 for 40, uh, Piyush Chavla 4 overs 1 for 33 Sunil Narin was kept at bay today, 4 was none for 33, normally as you know he bowls very well in IPLs but today Sunil Narin was kept at bay, they probably had a sort of game plan for Sunil Narin. Chris Wokes went for 35 straight, Kuldi Piada was the best bowler, 4 was no man, 225, Yusuf Patan wheeled over, 1 over which went for 15 runs. Now let's talk about the Kolkata Knight Riders openers, there's nothing to talk other than the openers and it was Chris Lynn and Gambhir at the crease. And um, what one saw was that, I mean, one was really surprised. One probably thought the Kolkata Knight Riders uh, will probably come with their tried and trusted combination of um, Gautam Gambhir and Robin Utapa, who have given them a lot of victories in the last IPL, who were the really foundation stone. Uh, but that was not to be. Today they decided uh, that they would have Chris Lynn at the top of the order along with Gambhir. And what a, what a wonderful ploy that was, and which worked wonders for them. And especially Chris Lynn uh, was uh, tremendous, it was uh, completely, it was very severe on the pace, bowlers, double Kulkarni's lengths were dismissed with absolute disdain, Manpreet Goni went for runs, Pravin Kumar could not get a handle on them and Chris Lynn, just talking about Chris Lynn's innings, his innings, he was the one who was dealing with the pace bowlers and whenever the spinners were bowling at the other end, Gautam Gambhir was taking ample care of them as both were really, really uh, I would say pummeling runs and especially Chris Lynn his pulling was absolutely superb and what was good about Chris Lynn was that when he plays his strokes I mean he's, he's a very good straight hitter of sixes when I've seen that in the big bash league too and today uh, what, what strokes he played I mean he, he used to just stand there and deliver 
and uh, he has this ability to play in the V. So that is a very, very good thing in cricket, I thought. And Chris Lynn, I think, promises great things uh, in this IPL 2017. And I think after looking at the innings that he played, uh, he might be a very central figure in this Indian Premier League. And if this is anything to go by, but Chris Lynn was absolutely superb. Uh, his pulling was superb. Uh, he, he, he targeted the square leg region and the long on region and he was looking absolutely ominous he was absolutely ominous and chris lynn uh, was really giving headaches to the let's have a look at the uh, the, the gujarat lions bowlers who suffered under the blade of chris lynn at the other end gautam gambhir as i said the spin is something which Gam i mean they were playing with lots of um, I would say sensible cricket was being done. Gambhir was taking on the spinners and Gambhir as you know is a very good uh, player of the spinners as well. So definitely Brendan McCullum, the, um, the captain would have been uh, really been um, nonplussed as to what to do because Chris Lynn was taking care of the pace bowlers, Gambhir was taking care of the spinners and Gambhir also played a wonderful knock. Uh, he made an unbeaten 76 of 48 deliveries, 12 fours in that knock but Chris Lynn, what a capital knock from him not out of 93 it definitely deserved a century but unfortunately you couldn't get it 93 unbeaten runs of just 41 deliveries six fours and eight glorious sixes that he hit it was a treat to watch chris lynn bat uh, he was in it, it was tremendous uh, batting from chris lynn and uh, look at the balling uh, from the gujarat lions ballers they were pummeled into submission uh, Pravin Kumar bowled only two overs, uh, never had a chance. In fact, they, the match finished off in the uh, 15th over itself, 14.5 overs to be precise, a 10 wicket victory, uh, setting a record in T20 history of the most successful chase ever by any team in T20 history without losing a wicket. Tremendous stuff this from Kolkata Knight Riders uh, in their very first match with the Indian Premier League, uh, probably giving a signal to all the opposition that what to expect from KKR in this uh, Indian Premier League 2017. Double Kulkarni was the most costliest, had his figures absolutely ruined. 2.5 overs, precisely 17 deliveries. He was dismissed for 42 runs with Lynn pasting him to all corners of the field. Manpreet Goni disappeared for 32 of his two overs. Shigil Kaushik, the baller who bowled today, four overs cost him 40. Uh, Dwayne Smith, one over, was thrashed for 23 runs. And Shadab Jagati, three overs, uh, was uh, taken away for 30 runs. As Kolkata Knight Riders had a 10-wicket victory in the first match of the Indian Premier League. And Kolkata Knight Riders gained two points. And Chris Lynn, without a shadow of doubt, was named player of the match. Now, let's get on to another sensational match here. And the sensational match we're taking down to the, the, the first one day international of the series between West Indies and Pakistan. And what a match we had here at the Providence Stadium in Guyana. You, I mean, I would say the Providence Stadium in Guyana public would have had their money's worth today. They would have probably had their uh, heart in their mouth here. But uh, it was Jason Mohammed and Ashley Nurse absolutely manhandling the Pakistani bowlers in the last 4.5 overs. Now, talking about it, West Indies were the ones who actually won the toss and uh, they decided to insert Pakistan into bat. So Pakistan batted. Ahmed Shahzad and Kamran Akmal gave them a very, very good start, one thought, of 85 runs for the first wicket, which was good to see, with Ahmed Shahzad's contribution being 67 of 83 deliveries with six fours. But Kamran Akmal uh, was looking uh, pretty good with his uh, 47 or 48 deliveries with five fours and three sixes. After that, Muhammad Afiz contributed a very, very well made 88 of 92 deliveries, six fours and three sixes. And Barbara Azam uh, made 13 of 21 balls. Uh, and Shoaib Malik uh, uh, made 53, made a very quick fire 53 towards the end of 38 balls with six fours and two sixes. Safran Azam was not on 20 of 13 deliveries, two fours. Wazim was not on six. And Pakistan definitely uh, were not uh, really. I mean, I would say the West Indies bowling. Uh, was not so uh, good, it was not up to the mark and also their um, fielding left a bit to be desired too. But uh, one has to say uh, that uh, Ashley Nurse, the baller, really stood out. He leaked runs but nevertheless he purchased his wickets uh, very well. 10 overs 
went for 62 but the returns were good he got four wickets and that was good so 308 for five uh, and looking at the bowling figures uh, for the West Indian bowlers Joseph uh, Alzari Joseph 10 was one minute none for 49 Gabriel uh, unfortunately one was really surprised to see that Gabriel went for lots of runs 10 overs he was keen for 69 runs uh, Jason Muhammad um, uh, first showing uh, shown, shown with the ball as well I mean he was the pick of the ballers 4 overs 1 made in none for 28 literally would have been realized that he would be the man to take the West Indians to victory when the West Indies turn to batting uh, came at that particular time Jason Holder 10 overs 1 for 58 Ashley Nurse 4 for 62 and 6 overs for 36 for Devendra Bishu now the West Indies innings uh, started off I and mean, they were chasing 309 to win and definitely there was a big question mark but Evan Lewis um, uh, I mean they lost an early wicket when Mohamed Amir picked up the wicket of uh, Shadwick Walton pretty early in the piece for just 7 runs of 16 balls with 1-4 with the score of the West Indies reading 23 for 1 in the 5th over. Evan Lewis was joined in by Kiran Pawan and he, want, he definitely uh, wanted a partner who could really stand with him and that was Kiran Powell at the other end who was really nurturing the innings together and making sure that he was holding the innings there but the other end Evan Lewis was stroking the ball as Evan Lewis collected 47 of 63 deliveries 3 fours and 2 sixes. So when Evan Lewis fell to the bowling of Mohamed Afiz when he was clean bowled the score read 91 for 2 in the 22nd over. Kiran Powell is joined in by Shai Hope but Shadab Khan uh, the right arm leggy was actually making his debut after really uh, creating quite a stir in the T20 series with his player of the match. Um, uh, Shalab Khan uh, got his um, maiden wicket uh, in ODIs when he actually forced Shai Hope uh, to have a go at him and he got himself stumped for 24, 34 deliveries, 1 4 and 1 6. But Kiran Powell was hanging in there. But then Waha Briyas picked up Kiran Powell's wicket when after Kiran Powell had scored 61 of 86 balls with 5 4s. And that was the time the score at 158 for 4 when Shai Hope uh, departed in the 34th over. So it was basically, they still required, uh, uh, it was a very long way to go. And Jason Muhammad and Carter were the crease. But when Carter fell uh, to the ball of Muhammad Amir for 14 or 15 balls, 1 4, Jason Holder walked in. And Jason Holder uh, tried to hit a 6 and uh, he was along with uh, Jason Muhammad at the crease. Jason Muhammad was um, really uh, starting, I mean he was just uh, trying to um, uh, settle down uh, and he was playing in a very sedate manner. I mean he was seeing to it that he was uh, staying there at the wicket and the hope for the West Indies there was uh, Jason Muhammad and Jason Holder were there but the asking rate was really climbing and that forced Jason Holder to take, an, um, take a chance and in the process he fell to uh, shut up Khan the right arm leggy for 11 of just 8 balls with 1-6 and now this was the situation the situation for the West Indies was they were 259 for 6 uh, in the in the as I said in the 45th over and they still had 5 overs and uh, they required exactly 50 runs to win the match and uh, probably uh, Jason Muhammad you know he's a very talented bloke as well but one never, uh, one never probably thought, even the uh, Pakistan should have been also been taken uh, by real surprise. They may probably have been stunned as suddenly uh, runs cascaded uh, from the blade of both Jason Muhammad and Ashley Nurse. And they started putting back to ball in such a fashion that Jason Muhammad was the one who really started. He started in really whirlwind fashion as he started... Uh, 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 you know slamming boundaries of uh, the bowlers who probably uh, Pakistan would have thought they would get a handle to the pace bowlers Mohammad Amir went for plenty from the bat of Jason Mohammad Hassan Ali was not spared either and then Wahab Briyas was really clattered as Jason Mohammad started um, a, a real counter-attack and as I said it was a severe counter-attack on the on the Pakistani bowlers at the other end Ashley Nurse was another one who was really really impressive with his batting and he was the one who was really hitting a lot of boundaries he also hit one beautiful six on the bowling of Shadab Khan it was uh, yeah Shadab Khan was hit for a beautiful six uh, by Ashley Nurse so Shadab Khan also got a bit of tap and suddenly 
uh, it was uh, uh, suddenly from a, a time where you thought that the Pakistani Pakistan were going to actually win the first ODI, things were totally transformed with a, a absolutely what a what a partnership. Uh, 44.3 overs. Uh, that is the 45th over, and in 27 balls, Jason Muhammad unbeaten on 91 runs of just 58 deliveries. 11 fours and three sixes. At the other end, Ashley Nurse was caning the Pakistani bowling, an unbeaten 34 of just 15 deliveries, five fours and one six, uh, had given them the victory with one over to spare. And this was West Indies' most successful chase ever in one day international. So they set a new record as far as the most successful chase in West Indies ODI history was concerned and they and let us uh, let me also tell you one important thing about this win this win was all the more a very memorable win and also a very very great win the reason being uh, most of the West Indies players are doing duty in the Indian Premier League and with this team I mean West Indies have defeated the Pakistanis and and the, and in the way they did it with Jason Muhammad leading the uh, leading from the front, look at the bowling. Look at the damage that was done to the bowling of the Pakistanis. Muhammad Amir nine overs was thrashed for 59, two wickets. Hassan Ali five overs uh, carted for 43 without a wicket. Muhammad Afiz eight overs one for 35 was the only one who really. Uh, started putting the brakes on the West Indies batting in the middle stages. Shoaib Malik 6 overs for 24. The spinners did a good job. Uh, Wahab Riyaz caned for 69, especially from Jason Mohammed with one wicket. Shadab Khan 9 overs, 2 for 52 on his uh, one day international debut. Uh, Imad Wazim 3 overs for 21. And Jason Mohammed of the West Indies was the real hero at the Providence Stadium in Guyana, taking the Man of the Match award. And what a win. I mean, this is a really, really, truly a very commendable win for the West Indies. And Jason Muhammad was the man along with Ashley Nurse who made it possible. And one has to say hats off to the West Indies for doing this because this is a team which is lacking a lot of big names who are doing duty in the IPL. Uh, well done, the West Indies. You truly deserve the win. Uh, and uh, well, that's it uh, from me. Uh, from this uh, cricket happening show today there will be more coming up tomorrow uh, till such time it's good night